Hey up everyone, I'm back again. So uh, I just wanted to show you how to debloat and route your S5, uh, which may be slowing down a little bit now it's getting on a bit. Uh, as you can see, I'm just showing you where to get everything from, but I will leave all the uh, places that you need to go in the description of the video. Uh, this is uh, where you get the actual ROM from. So there's a download button on the thread on XDA uh, and uh, that will take you to that download place. So you just click on begin download. So you start downloading that straight away uh, so that you're not waiting around. So uh, you can then also get uh, Phil's Touch for your Galaxy S5. Uh, I'm getting the version for the international Galaxy S5, uh, which is the KLTE version. So just get the, uh, the tar file. You don't need to get the zip. Uh, and uh, also get Odin 3.09. You might already have that, actually. Uh, because uh, you know it's used for so many different purposes it's a very good tool uh, but you can get it from that particular area and uh, finally chain fire auto route you can get it from this particular URL and that's for the international uh, Galaxy S5 uh, 900F version so I uh, should make sure you get in the proper version I'm sure that there's an equivalent version if you run in a different uh, S5. Uh, but uh, you need to go into download mode. So uh, you need to hold down power button, volume down, and the notification or home button at the same time until it comes up with uh, the warning. Then you quickly press uh, power up, uh, sorry, volume up. Uh, on its own and then you'll be in download mode and then connect a uh, USB cable up to uh, your PC and uh, make sure the drivers are all installed on your PC so it can recognize your S5 and then as you can see I've just created an S5 folder on the desktop to keep everything together and uh, I've got Odin in there so I start up Odin and then uh, once you do connect up the USB uh, cable to your S5, it should say added. It might already say added if you uh, are following my guide here because you've just connected to the cable. Uh, so keep everything as it is and then select uh, AP and then look for your chain fire auto root file, which will be in your S5 folder if you've kept everything together. And then uh, once it's uh, got that added, all you do is just click start. And that will do what it needs to do to get your phone routed. Before you do all this, bear in mind that it uh, might uh, void your warranty, so don't do anything stupid. Uh, but uh, as you can see, this is what happens on the phone as it's routing. You see all this crazy looking text come on your phone and the pirate as well, Android bot. So make sure you do an Android backup around here after you rooted. Back up all your files to a place you can find the file if you need it on your PC. Then once you've done the an Android backup, you can then go back into download mode again. So I'm showing you again how to do it. So uh, power button, volume down, and the home button all at the same time until you get the warning come up then volume up on its own ok 
connect the cable back up. Best to uh, close down Odin on the PC. I should mention that as well before you connect the cable back up again. Uh, so I've already closed it down, so I'm going back into it now. Ignore the Galaxy S4 Mini at the top. That uh, basically is because I downloaded it with the S4 Mini package before, but it'll still work. But it's the same version. But uh, you wait until it says added, basically. Now what we're trying to do is uh, get the uh, Phil's Touch recovery environment on your Galaxy S5. If you've done this before on the S4, you pretty much know what you're doing here. Browse to the Phil's Touch MD5 file and then uh, leave everything as it is and just click start. Then that will do that. And uh, you'll have the custom recovery then. And uh, your phone should reboot. Now is a good time to drag the downloaded ROM to your Galaxy S5. So uh, just go to the S5 folder on your desktop. And then copy the ROM extra light to the root of your uh, Galaxy S5 storage. It's about 500 megs, so it shouldn't take long to copy. Then on your phone, download ROM Manager or Clockwork Mod. And uh, reboot your phone into recovery mode and grant the super user permission and you'll be in recovery and then uh, you just need to install the zip basically browse to it go to uh, install from zip and then uh, just navigate to it select yes and then press the power button to flash it I forgot that you had to press the power button here you can't just press the screen you do have to press the power button and I'm not liable if anything goes wrong, but nothing should go wrong if you're following this. Uh, so uh, that starts up the extra Stolite ROM installer, which is nice and uh, straightforward to follow. Agree with the terms. I'd say do a full wipe. Does recommend that on the thread. And then you've got your tweaks that you can set up, your region, I just put it as uh, UK, uh, tweaks, quite a lot there, you can untick the ones you don't want, and uh, didn't select anything on that one, you can put a mod on if you want, and then uh, just click install and it'll install. Shouldn't take too long to do. And then once you once it's installed, reboot the device and uh, you'll be running a nice debloated ROM, uh, which you should see major performance speed improvements.
and that's it so uh, i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe if you did or like it and i'll see you next time cheers